in. Let's see what's coming your way. And we do have the three of pentacles in reverse and the nine of cups. Uh, we get all wish fulfillment. Probably it was a, a separation, falling out of a partnership, of a commitment. Three of pentacles in reverse, living together with a person who decided to leave maybe. And finally getting our wish fulfillment after a lot of work. Two of pentacles, right? Managing responsibilities, work. Doing what, what needs to be done, keeping everything in balance. And boom, we get the reward with the nine of... Um, cups and we do have the queen of swords in reverse might be a gemini libra or aquarius you are dealing with um can be some manipulation some lying some disappointments lack of transparency queen of swords king of swords oh the connection became cold and disrespectful and hidden right things were not um clear the empress Libra Taurus energy, but I, I kind of feel might be the the father of your the mother of your children, the father of your children, somebody significant, and the connection uh, went all over the place. Two of Wands all over the place and at and at crossroads. I know, right? So let's cut the card Scorpio and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time, the most important one. So let's see the crossroads and the oh my god, highly betrayed. <laughs> you know, it's kind of going to extremes, right? We have the Ten of Swords, which is the ultimate betrayal, and it is combined with the Sun, maybe a Leo in your life, but I um I kind of feel may might be related to a child of some sort um, and that's how they betrayed our trust and this is, you know, maybe fighting for kids. Um, age of Wands, Ace of Wands, I know, right? We no longer had the same level of passion. It has a sense of um, a hurting truth, so we'll see before we jump to the conclusions, um, Scorpio. Ten of Swords and the Sun by excellence is finding out. Uh, something that is so a form of truth fundamental truth revelation um and you know finding out was actually the ultimate ever betrayal so let's see what this is all about looks very hurtful at this time so past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual let's have the current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome for you the person you are dealing with and mutual let's have the bottom of the deck for the overall energy and of course we have the devil absolutely toxic energy cheating lying deceiving bet big betrayal that we found out about that is a truth that came out in such a hurtful way i'm sorry to see that scorpio i'm so sorry so painful so toxic so disappointing you know when we thought we are staying in the light we actually were staying in the dark i know um so scorpio in the past what happened we do have the ten of pentacles and we do have the three of cups in reverse um and i'm sorry to say but this is a third party situation around the home uh, we do have, again, the energy of family, of stability, of building a life with someone, believing that we are in, we were in the truth, open about stuff, right? Um, transparent and, and speaking and asking for and living in a form of truth. Um, building something that was solid and actually we had the Three of Cups in reverse. Of course, can be a third party situation, can be a deep unhappiness. Uh, we know the devil, it's um, again like big energies of anxiety, of depression, toxic behavior because of mental health, um, you know, all, all kinds of, um, you know, levels of instability making us uh, maybe not really functional, um, you know, so, um, and, um, and then the devil hit and then the ten of swords hit, right, um, painful energies. <laughs> oh my god are you kidding me scorpio this is the reason why i actually combine um combine decks because look here twice the higher in reverse i mean 
um, they were not that committed, right? This is falling out of a commitment, but with a, with double the conviction, right? That this is not their place to be. Um, for some of you, it's an indication of, of the times, right? Somebody stepped out of any form of, um, you know, contract or commitment or... Um, um, I would say whatever you agreed upon, right? They went completely on the other side. Of course, can be a Taurus at the distance, but um, I feel with the devil and the three of cups in reverse and twice the hierophant that uh, they had no intention actually to commit. And even if at some point they had the energy, because still the energy of commitment is on their side. If at some point, um, you know, they, they actually talk themselves into a form of commitment, uh, I believe they kind of came out quite quickly. Uh, very convinced, right? And in a harsh way, I would say, uh, we do have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and the Four of Swords. For some of you, it might be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius uh, standing between you and your person. Um, it has an energy of because of, you know, taking action because of it has also a, a, an energy for some of you, Scorpio, where uh, maybe because there was a separation, somebody kind of stepped out of any form of commitment, not waiting on anything and, and doing whatever, you know, um, taking action on with somebody else at some point, you know. Um, but Scorpio, in all honesty, it feels like a lot of boredom. Uh, this person, um, you know, excitement, needing to have excitement. And their excitement was actually your betrayal, right? And um, and not committed, not committed in any way, right? So where are we right now? We do have the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. You probably feel like compromising over here. I don't feel this is another person. I do feel that this is your energy um, approaching them slowly, right? And um, I don't know if this is an in and out. Of course, by the Hierophant in reverse, it's at least twice we had a reconciliation here, um, taking action and doing what's right at this point, but then going back to toxicity and betrayal and harsh words and jealousy and possessiveness and um, and i feel that you are willing to compromise again it has this energy of approaching slowly having an offer in your hands and saying maybe we can um you know save five of uh, pentacles is rejection is somebody walking away so maybe we are more in this energy of, well, if I'm strategic enough, if I'm calm enough, if I'm friendly enough, maybe, you know, we can um, solve an issue over there. So Scorpio, this person of yours, they do have the Ten of Pentacles and it's interesting, it's in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um, and you have the Ten of Pentacles on your side in the past and it's upright, speaking of the level of commitment, right? And then we have Ten of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles. We know, double the trouble. But they can't wait to escape responsibilities over here. Um, Ten of Pentacles in reverse is instability, but based on combination of energies, it's really about, oh, no, 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 no. I, I get impatient. I can't wait, right, to come out of this commitment. This is their energy at this time. They don't feel like taking responsibility. They don't feel like carrying any shape, form of responsibility. And Seven of Pentacles, they have no expectations that this, at, at the end of something, you might have results with them or something, you know. They are not expecting anything. There is no reward that they want to reap. There, there is no investment, actually, that they feel like. Seven of Pentacles is the energy of... Um, guess what? Mutual energy is between the two of you. Three of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. So, of course, can be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, can be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or another feminine energy between you and them. Can be their energy, but again, we have the Three of Cups in reverse with another feminine energy. So, uh, well, I, I believe we are unhappy for no reason. Actually, we should be celebrating, right? Three of Cups is the energy of celebration and, and um, you know, a sense of accomplishment and having fun because we finally su succeeded something. I think you should. 
Of course, it's pandemic time, so we need to be very cautious and stay away, physical distance. But um, nothing like a Zoom party, by the way. <laughs> oh, let me tell you a thing about it. Uh, but anyways, that's not the point. Uh, the point is that uh, we are actually uh, very sad about something who is so lost in their darkness like there is no tomorrow, right? The devil and the ten of swords, impatient to come out of any shape or form of responsibility, twice the hierophant in reverse, nothing serious. So I would say no, thank you. Um, the possible outcome for you, we do have the Two of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. We need to make a decision about the um, imbalance happening right now in your life. We need to make a decision about how kind we want to be with this person and how much we want to extend, um, you know, um, kindness and a sense of balance, a sense of compromise, a sense of, um, you know, reconciliation. Um, a sense of decision involving both of you, you know, we, we need to make a decision because right now we might not be looking at the right thing. Now, this person of yours, um, well, the outcome is pretty simple. Breaking silence and communicating endings. We do have the world and the high priestess in reverse. Um, Scorpio, I, I, I feel that there is no doubt in their mind that they don't want to be attached to anything um, and um, the high priestess in reverse, they might have been silent about something, but now the world, what makes them happy, happy endings with the world, is actually, again, happy endings, things to be over. And there's a sense of impatience for this to be over. You know, a sense of, I'm done, I'm done. I cannot stay committed, I cannot be committed, I'm just done. Mutual energies, the Three of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. And we have the, twice the Queen of Swords, which can be the energy between the two of you. And it's actually the energy of no expectations, but also the energy of not telling the truth, lack of transparency. Swords in reverse are very harsh energy of a bad communication, anger, frustration, speaking in anger, insulting. So I'm... Um, some food for thought love is no longer there um there is no love here just um you know maybe you're willing to compromise and on, on their side is the impatience for all of this to be over i don't know if they have somebody else by the way scorpio we have a couple of energies here one is the energy between you and your person and that's the queen of swords there is no doubt it might be a nurturing energy uh, that they have towards somebody or somebody has towards them and it shows up here but mainly it's a determination somebody is highly determined uh, to see this through and over with now Scorpio let's ask for some guidance but I do believe that it's so clear over here and I uh, you know how it feels like a rude awakening Scorpio the Ten of Swords, the Devil and the Sun. We know the Sun is fundamental truth and awakening. And I feel that this is what's going on right now. Like waking up to to, um, to a reality that might be a little bit cruel in some way. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So let's um, figure out how we feel. This is kind of what I feel right now. Codependency. Uh, we do have the devil here and now we have the codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life, of course can be. Can be toxicity between, but you know how it feels, Scorpio? It feels like the universe asking you to question your feelings. Are they romantic and loving feelings or is it codependency between you and your person? Okay, can you, can you get out of this connection? Um, and, um, you know... Maybe you need to label a little bit. Um, past life relationship, you have known each other before. So it's kind of like the universe confirming, yes, there is codependency, but also a bond that goes beyond uh, this lifetime. Um, or maybe being for a long time in a connection with somebody so long that it became uh, very toxic and, um, you know, very um, um, connected in an unhealthy way. And we do have retreat. It's time to disconnect. I would say it says from the world, I do believe. 
that is from this connection and open up to true love right this is the romance of a lifetime but i don't feel this is announcing it uh, but it's more about romantic um romantic feelings true love and codependency past life and retreat so it's a kind of like the universe guiding you and saying you know what we need to come out of this we need to retreat from this whatever this is it looks toxic it looks um very painful as a romantic experience and um and love should feel good right that is no way that um you know love is supposed to be sweet and healing and beautiful and i feel at this time actually love hurts and um love is not supposed to hurt so let's see what else is there for us scorpio what do you say now i open the comments again so you know what you let me know let's see what else is there for us we do have yin and yang and speaking of how love should feel like a beautiful completion like you know completing each other masculine and feminine energy inward and outward and love so you are guided um uh, scorpio to um scorpio to focus on love that feels good yin and yang right a balance a sense of balance a sense of um com completing each other sense of um a beautiful dance of energies and love we do have the distorted feminine so somebody here is kind of um, guided to work on themselves that is something that we are not um fully mastering right and um and can be the way we do love uh, the way we um, manage this codependency the way we should retreat from this connection and uh, and allow them time to heal we do have retreat and forgiveness right we step back and we say no thank you and we allow them time to heal and we forgive them for the wrong decisions but of the deck actions speak loudly express your love through actions and the action is retreat and forgive right um scorpio this is what i feel and we need to disconnect from something in order to allow this sense of balance and this sense of love and that's okay we can disconnect and still have love for this person we should actually continue to love them but in a different way in a more spiritual way now let's look into the energies we need to put back into the flow at this time we're gonna have some general guidance and then we say goodbye till the next time I know this is a very painful experience, Scorpio, especially that this person is, um, uh, they know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly. Guess what? This is also your energy, but um, we have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. And it's interesting. It goes with um, romantic feelings, yin and yang, and death. So we need to put something to bed in order to create space for something new. We do have love, action, and friendship. Maybe you have a friend and the universe is kind of guiding you towards them. So I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. That is a purpose and that is a meaning to it. And it involves a friend. We do have discipline and it goes with past life relationship, the distorted feminine and discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So somebody here is guided to bring back some discipline into the flow, right? I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So what do you set your mind to, right? Or on. Surrender to wonder and oh, you forgot to have fun, Scorpio. So open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. Wow, you forgot to have fun. And it's interesting, right? It's a balance between discipline and fun. I mean, you have two completely opposite energies, right? But that's what brings you to the center. And we do have divine order. I know this is about divine order. Do what you feel is right, Scorpio. An important lesson is unfolding. It's Lady Portia. And let's have some general guidance let's see what else is there usually it's a career advice we'll see what you get 
we will see what you get and then we say goodbye. So what do we have? Power animal. Oh, your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. What else? Mediumship. We know a Scorpio is very intuitive. So Scorpio, you have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. Oh, beautiful. Bottom of the deck, we have energy work. Are you kidding me? I might be picking up the energy of a Scorpio who is like a very spiritual uh, medium. Um, maybe shaman. Wow, that would be nice. Anyways, energy work, um, Scorpio. So life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. So somebody here is guided towards the spiritual realm. Maybe you are ready for ascension or you are already doing this, but we have some homework first. And I do feel that we are still in love with somebody here who is not ready to be in love with us or fell out of love. Um, I would say a while back, but hey, you know better. So Scorpio, I really count on you. This is a very heavy energy we picked up on and I really count on you to use your better judgment, to ask for help if you feel that you need to, to surround yourself with uh, friends and family. This is very important. And I know the universe gave you homework, gave you discipline and endings and uh, patience for the divine order, right? And the plan that's unfolding and the lesson that's unfolding right now. So I count on you to be wise. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.